Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Huncho here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm not only going to show you the best graphics card for Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8, but I'm also going to show you how to properly install the driver and a few steps that you have to do after you install it. I'm switching things up a little bit, so I hope you enjoy it, but before that, make sure that if you're not subscribed already, you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos in the future. So one thing I wanted to work on to be a little more organized, not only for me, but for you guys as well, is I wanted to have all my information in one place that was easily accessible, no barriers behind it. So I created a web page. This is what it looks like when you load up. As you scroll down, you'll see today's video and you can click on the picture of it or even the date. I haven't filled these out yet, but I'm going to as we move along here. So as you can see here, I have a notification gang section where I'm going to put people that are consistently commenting on my videos within the first day of posting just to give them a little recognition on the site as well just to show my thanks. So now let's jump right into this video. When you're looking on a desktop, DX11 is going to be on the left and performance modes on the right. There's a few things I want to break down really quick before going over which is the best driver or two technically. So on DX11 you'll see that the gaps in FPS are significantly less and the older driver 5730 was performing close to the top whereas when you go over to performance mode you see that it's only at 555 and the max I was getting was 582 with 471.96 if you want to go into more specifics you're more than welcome to take a deeper dive into this but I'm just going to go over just a quick summary Again, you can see with DX11 for the lows here, 5671 was at the top. But then when I'm switching on performance mode, it's all the way at the bottom. This just goes to show that if you're using performance mode, which I know a lot of people are, especially because it's the best way to get the highest FPS. And if you have a lower end system, you're already going to be struggling for FPS, especially in end game moments. And the majority of pros play on performance mode. So that's why I'm going to recommend these newer drivers, 471.96 and 471.68 showed the most consistent results across everything. If I had to pick one, I'd say 471.96. And you'll see with the standard deviation results that the 5671 does have the most consistency for FPS, but it gets less FPS. But 471.96 is the one that's right above it for the next best and you're gonna get that higher FPS boost when you're using performance mode. So now to download the pack, I have three different links. You can click directly on it. I have File Dropper, Mega, and Google Drive. After you download the pack, go to the NVIDIA site or just click right on this link. It's gonna take you to the driver page. 471.96. And download this. Make sure that you extract the files from the pack before you start doing anything. It'll just make it significantly easier. And then the next step we're gonna do is go into Device Manager and turn off our network adapter. If you have automatic updates off, you won't have this issue. But I'm on a completely bloated Windows right now and I know that a lot of people don't turn off updates. So this is the easiest way to get around it. So you can just disable the ethernet connection or the Wi-Fi, whatever you're running on. And now you're supposed to use DDU in safe mode, but I've done it hundreds of times without it being in safe mode. But if you wanna be safe, use safe mode. So if it's something screws up, it's not my fault. So basically you're gonna to get to right here. You're gonna select GPU, it's gonna to go to Nvidia. And then you're going to click clean and restart and your system's going to reboot. You don't have to do anything. And now when that loads back up, your internet will still be off. You're going to go into NV slimmer. It's going to bring you right to this page and you're going to download the driver that you want. So 471.96, you're going to click open. It's going to load the driver. And then when you get to this page, the only thing that you're going to install is the core and the display driver. 
If you used to use shadow play, don't anymore. I have a video on OBS replay buffer as well if you want to know the settings and how that works. But you're going to get significantly better FPS and lower latency by not using the shadow play and GeForce experience. So then you're going to click apply and then install the driver. After the driver installs, you can go and turn back on your ethernet connection by just going to device manager, right clicking it and enable. You're going to open up the NVIDIA control panel, manage 3D settings, program settings, add Fortnite as a program, and then copy the settings that I have here. I'm not going to go through each one just to save time. I don't want to waste your time just slowly going through these. I also have images that are on the web page as well. The next step, you want to make sure that you're on the correct resolution because it will most likely reset. So make sure that you're on the correct refresh rate here. And then click apply. Next, you're going to go to adjust desktop size and position. No scaling, display, and don't check this box for override unless you're using a resolution that's not the same as your monitor. And if you don't have a display option and you're using GPU, make sure you do not have this checked. Next, we're going to go into NVIDIA Profile Inspector. We're going to search for Fortnite here up at the top, and then we're going to click the little magnifying glass up here. Now there is more settings that you can change with this, but I found that with newer drivers, you run into more issues the more settings that you change. So we're only going to change the ones that I know have no negative effect on the newer driver. So NVIDIA predefined FXAA usage, we're going to change to disallowed. And then we're going to go down to other, enable Ansel, and we're going to change that to Ansel enable off and click apply changes. Next, we're going to run the MSI utility as administrator. Make sure that your GPU is supported by MSI mode, which it should be. Click on the box for MSI mode. Make sure it's on undefined and then click apply. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. Make sure if you want to get your name on the website that you comment on this video within a day. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Huncho here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm not only going to show you the best graphics card for Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8, but I'm also going to show you how to properly install the driver and a few steps that you have to do after you install it. I'm switching things up a little bit, so I hope you enjoy it, but before that, make sure that if you're not subscribed already, you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos in the future. So one thing I wanted to work on to be a little more organized, not only for me, but for you guys as well, is I wanted to have all my information in one place that was easily accessible, no barriers behind it. So I created a web page.